Uh, wait, what? Okay. What's going on? even real did the stream even start or is this pre-recorded how's it going chat oh man my heart was beating a mile a minute throughout that you didn't think i'd bait come on of course i would okay this this looks like a a, a porn vn so, this looks much better to me. How do I know? Because I've, I've read a porn VN. At first, he thought the tremor that ran through his legs was just another effect of his rude awakening. But as he looked around, he realized it was, it was real. Okay, is he, going to, is he going to say everything that the description says? The whole room was shaking. My god, the whole room shaking. An earthquake. <laughs> but it, it's shaking too fast for that. So it's gonna, on novel mode, it says everything twice. Is <laughs> All right. Oh man, why do you weaves want me to play on it then? Then again, Jumpy had no idea what it was if not for, if not an earthquake, <laughs> they had said it three times. Then, as suddenly as they had begun, the tremor ceased. My God, the tremor ceased, Jumpy said. <laughs> From somewhere far away, Jumpy could hear the sound of metal squeaking. Hmm, is that metal squeaking? That <laughs> In the attempt to distract himself, Jumpy looked around the room once more. <laughs> five. That's that's the same as the door. It it is. Yep, two fives. True. The numbers are the same. <laughs> I had no idea what that might mean. This is terrible! Why does this mode exist? What the fuck? <laughs> he knew it was so strange and knew and he wanted it off. He's like, do you want everything explained to you three fucking times mode? What the fuck? So we have someone that got lost from Atlantis. Someone plucked straight out of Professor Layton. Nagito the early years, and I have no idea who this is. A lot of people. <sighs> well, this is anime. But is that really the truth? Yes. What? Jumpy, are you hiding something from me? What? What is this? Date number three? Like what? No. Why would I? Well, if you think about it, this is awfully suspicious. I mean, why would two childhood friends bump into each other in a place like this? Hey, I could ask you the same thing. Are you hiding something? What would I hide? Well, I, I don't know. Anything. I mean, you're hiding it. How would I know? You mean, like, the number of men I've dated? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Do you want to know? I do, yep. I do. Don't I, worry. I hope it's a choice. Yep. Only 18. 18? <sighs> Time zero. Wait, I can't do math. Then why do you hate four so much? Cause it's a half-ass number. Didn't we come through the four door? Not the best or the worst. That's why. Y what? Nine is a way better number. Ooh. So what if it's last place, right? At least it's not some lame-ass middle number. We mean last place. The numbers keep going after nine. What are you? <laughs> you play? <laughs> hey. You mean like the stock 
market. You mean like the, the stock market? Nah, that's not what I mean. What the hell would you think that? I mean, yeah, I do stocks too, but... Do you have an NFT? You? A, a stockbroker? Yeah, got a problem with that? <laughs> no, you just... You don't look like the type. Man, that stuff's just like gambling, you know? I would hold, but that's a four-letter word. All you gotta do is bet on the winning horse. And I don't like four. I'm pretty sure it wasn't too uncommon for ships to hit icebergs back in the day, or even other ships. Oh yeah, happened all the time. Right, I knew you'd say that. Oh, you did? Okay, Shimano. Mm -hmm. Jumano. But what if Stead had some sort of special powers? Uh... <laughs> I knew you would say that, and you may have a point, but what if instead I'm right and you're wrong, shitface? <laughs> That's what she just did. <laughs> but what if? <laughs> Wait, are you? What's not it? Stead wasn't possessed by a spirit. He was possessed by... I don't know. He was doing the possessing. <laughs> Hold on! Wait, so he wrote a story... And then died, and then possessed the the captain of the Titanic, and and rammed it into the iceberg, so he could say, "Lamoyo, my book was a prediction." <laughs> Why? Hmm. What are you smoking? <laughs> William Thomas Stead was a passenger on the Titanic. He just wrote down what he saw with his own eyes 20 years before it happened. <laughs> with himself? Um, well, uh... <laughs> well, uh... Why, why don't we talk about this some other time, okay? Huh? But... Come on, let's get back to it. <sighs> We're gonna be like... In one of these escape rooms soon, and June is gonna turn to us and go and say, "Jumpy, did you know that 9/11 was an inside job?" <laughs> what? <laughs> Who is this character, man? Holy shit! <laughs> hey, uh, hold on, Clover. Wait. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Oh well, don't know what else to do. Can't be helped. Try my best. All right, June, you want to go make out in the corner while we wait? What should we do now? Yeah. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> she shot him a glare that would have melted steel, then turned and stalked off. Then June, sensing that it could have melted steel, turned to turn to <laughs> Jumpy and said, "Jumpy, did you know that jet fuel can't melt steel?" <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who's next? <laughs> if you think that I'm playing some some weeb ass escape room VN, because I got because it was being forced on me for voting, and you think I'm gonna do all of the routes. You think I'm gonna go out of my way to be like, nah, I have to see all of this this wonderful experience and see all of them every single time, you know? Then you are absolutely right. I am gonna do that. Yeah, you're right. Yep, I am. I'm still a mother. I couldn't simply forget that something terrible had happened to my children. So I started dressing myself in wildly crazy clothing just to distract myself from what had happened. So I decided I would investigate what happened on my own. Yep, dressed like this. I would find out what happened during those nine missing days. What did you find out? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> So, nine years, nine days, nine hours, okay. Jumpy, when I... When I stab you. Honey. Jumpy, did you stab? <laughs> <laughs> that 9-11 was an inside job? Please! You? Oh, okay. <laughs> you a lot to me when we were kids. I liked you for a long time. Jumpy, a really long 
time. Aww. <laughs> All right. Let's kick some ass. <laughs> Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> Eyes on the screen, Jumpy. Eyes on the screen. Eyes on the, no blinking. Straight ahead. Straight ahead. She's like, huh, yeah, I'm, I'm keeping an eye on you. Like, <laughs> uh. oh, no. <laughs> One click. One click is all it took. Wait, what? He looks a lot better than the other bodies we've seen, though. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you know? <laughs> Wait. One of the other ones was her brother, you fucking idiot! I mean, if, if there wasn't all this blood, he almost looked like he was still alive. No! J what the hell, Jumpy? <laughs> Jumpy! I mean, I know it's kind of a messed up thing to say, but he kind of has it better, you know? What? Dying from a bomb going off inside of you? <laughs> I mean, that's just... Her brother! Some of Snake's bones... No! His skin. Oh, okay. It's it's so we can figure it out. But still, what the hell, my dude? You didn't know that when you were saying it. I, I think the explosion must have thrown him against the wall or something. <laughs> this is amazing! You know what? I think I think he must... It looked like it was one of those weird slow explosions, too. Like, he looked like he was in a lot of pain when he was dying. <laughs> <laughs> he managed to write a note on the wall too, you know, saying, and it was just a bunch of A's and H's. I guess he was really in pain. Yeah, this guy had it really. <laughs> what a good match. I was her Santa Claus. <laughs> Wait, what? Have you ever heard the story of the two Santa Clauses? <laughs> goes that a long time ago, there were two Santas. <laughs> there are, in actuality, two Santa Clauses. What, what the, did they have a feud? Who could be the best Santa? One beat up the other one? What the fuck is this? One of them wore white, and the other one wore black. Okay. The white Santa gave presents to good kids, and the black Santa played tricks on bad kids. They went on like that for a while, but... Eventually, the Black Santa's tricks started to get worse and worse. Black Santa? Woes and woes. Pretty soon, the White Santa couldn't stand it anymore. And he stabbed the Black <laughs> Santa to death. Holy shit, that escalated. When he stabbed the other Santa, the White Santa got blood all over his clothes. And that's why he's red. And that's why, these days, his clothes are red. Yeah, fuck off. You could say that red is all that's left of the Black Santa. Okay. I wonder... Which Santa I am? The white Santa? Or the black Santa? The last minute might have been... The worst vignette I have ever seen us do on stream. That was... Like, I'm, I'm stunned at how bad that was. <laughs> And I just know that's why they made his color scheme black and white. Who could possibly think I was? <laughs> it's obvious I'm not. Th to think I was? Ridiculous. But I guess you couldn't see just how obvious it was. Neither can I. I can't see anything. <sighs> I asked you before, didn't I? What makes you so sure I'm not Santa? And you answered. If you were Santa, then door three wouldn't have opened for us just now. Mm-hmm. Most people wouldn't say something like that. Yeah, maybe he's just confused. He said he was, his vision was blurry earlier, remember? The first thing that would come to anyone else's mind wouldn't be the bracelet number. There'd only be one thing they'd say. One sentence. You don't have his face. <laughs> no! No! They wouldn't say that! No! No, it's... Okay, alright, no! Alright, you almost had it working there, but then you said this and it's dumb. Like, no, that's not actually it. Okay, so now his response actually makes kind of sense, because now he can say, Yeah, but it was a really stupid question. You're obviously jumpy, so I just... Like, I felt like I'm being tricked, so my mind just jumped to something that proved it objectively completely. Like, like no, like... Very well. 
Yes. Okay, this this is a, a good way of, of tricking him, but that was not executed as well as I think it could have been. I have prosopagnosia. I cannot differentiate human faces. Is that what this was about? And I don't like that. Oh, he wouldn't know that that's Seven, right? Because he can't recognize him. Because he's wearing different clothes. Oh, yeah, that's why I was like, why doesn't he know about Seven? Because he doesn't, he doesn't know it's the same fucking guy. <laughs> this is so fucking gloriously stupid. <laughs> you know me, but I don't know you. <laughs> Do you have any idea how much I've suffered? Can you even begin to understand my pain? <laughs> this room will be engulfed in flame. Hmm. Who are you? <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> oh my god! but things are kind of busy over here. <laughs> I'm going to have to hang up now, okay? Grounded normal one. <laughs> I just answered what? <laughs> what? What? What's, what's gonna happen in the next ones? Is Jumpy secretly a fish the whole time? Like, what is oh no, no one ever asked, but Akane is actually a dolphin wearing a human suit, and he's her fish, and now they're gonna go do fish dolphin thing. Like, like what the fuck is gonna happen in the next one? Of course, they probably don't know any more than I like do. Ace. Well, I guess I should say Guitaro Hongo. Why did he create the Nonary Project? Anybody? Any ideas? Why don't you ask him yourself? He's here in the trunk. Well, yeah, I guess I could. He's still in the trunk, I assume? <laughs> yeah, he... What the fuck? Man! What? You're not really answering my question. Was there actually a girl who wouldn't melt at room temperature? No, Lamayo. <laughs> Sounds like Hongo has something to say. All right, fine, I'll let you talk, but you gotta behave. What? <sighs> Alice doesn't exist. Oh, my God. Nine years ago, I found Alice's coffin behind the library on the bottom deck. And it was empty. There was nothing in it but the root of a peculiar plant. Was that what you told me? Was what you told me the truth, Seven? You look satisfied. No, no way. He couldn't. Hey, look! Over there. There's somebody next to the road. Huh? What? Hmm? Huh? December 25th, 2028. We saw this last time, so we'll go through it again. I'm guessing that's us. Do we have bad on our shirt there? All right, it seems to be zero again. <laughs> hmm, Sigma. Okay, uh, one thing before we start. Um, I'm going to be freely discussing the events of the first game. So if you don't want to get spoiled on the first game, you should go watch those streams first. Um, it was pretty good. I, it's not like the best story I've ever had or the best story in, in, in gaming or anything like that. But it was very, very entertaining. Um, and if all you care about is entertainment, then it might actually be up there for you. Hey, look. What? There's something on that screen over there. Wait, what? How are you feeling? So, memo, you can... Oh my god!
He's back. He's he's back. I can't remember how his eyes were. Claws. Ooh, that one's bigger. Uh, he has hairy feet. Thank you for the added sound effects, Gatsby. It really adds to it. And, and oh, I don't have room for the anime hair. Okay, kind of normal hair now. All right. And should we put like a smaller version of himself on, <laughs> on the shirt that he's wearing? <laughs> Wearing his own shirt. <laughs> oh, I thought we were going out. Oh, uh oh, how did we know to look up there? It opened a hatch in the ceiling. What? Why does an elevator have a ceiling hatch? Uh, every elevator has a ceiling hatch. What? Who the fuck are you, Sigma Male? Oh, Sigma Males always take the stairs. Ah, that makes sense. He does, he's never been in an elevator before. He's never been in an elevator before. Okay, all right, that makes sense. Fine. On your knees. Okay, this... Uh, 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 this is getting better. Mommy? Sorry. M mommy? Sorry. Mommy? Sorry. Uh, mommy? Sorry. Mommy? Sorry. <laughs> mommy? Sorry. Mommy? So okay. Lotus again? Mummy? Mummy? Sorry. Mummy? Sorry. <laughs> hey there. Hey, hey. Okay, maybe not Lotus. I'm not really good at placing voices. Hello. Hello. It's very nice to meet you. Oh, you're Rise. Oh shit! The, right? Am I right? It's fucking senpai, right? Yeah, it's Rise. Yeah. All right. Oh man. All right. Best game. Best game. All right. Two milkmen go comedy. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. It means two milkmen got tired of delivering milk and started their stand-up careers. <laughs> Maybe it's saying that a pair of milkmen decided to become. <laughs> Like, yeah, all right, seems legit. Like, okay, kid, you seem to have this handled. Like, this is an important decision, but you know, whatever you do, what you think is best, kid. I just met like today, whatever court, you know, what's more fucked up, I believe it. This is probably what happened. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? Okay, I didn't choose to ally There's no fucking way Ten's gonna believe this and then Theo's gonna be like, what the fuck man? That's what happened. Meanwhile, that is what happened and Quark's like, Mwah. Like, what the fuck? What do you say we leave the old bar here and leave? It's amazing. I've got a plan. See? <sighs> Don't worry about me. Oh. I'm just telling you trick me. Yeah. Don't <laughs> believe whatever I tell him. Okay, so he has to be, or it couldn't even be he, because it could be a voice synthesizer. They, like he has to be a character from the first game, or like a clone or related to someone who's in this game. Like it, it has to be. Otherwise, why put them in a suit? Although I will appreciate it and I will laugh for probably 30 seconds straight if he takes off the helmet at, 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 the, at some point in the game and all of us are like, who the hell is this? <laughs>
What? Luna, did you say that? Then. Oh yeah, that was uh, that was me, mate. The robot. Oi, over here. Sigma, look. Look. What is that? Oh, blimey, that hurts. I ain't right for a fellow's back to feel like this. Ooh, it's ooh, oh, it's a ro what the fuck? It's right, you are, missus. It'd be all sorts of nasty if your elbows and that lumpy bit on your ankle was all packed with brains. Okay, are you are you just part of the crew now? Are you here to replace whoever dies in the next room? You're just like, oh, 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 blimey, that that fucking bracelet's for me, right? All right, oh, it's on. All right, coming through. Here comes the replacement fucking part. Like, like, what? What do you mean? There's just a fucking robo dude is coming along. Like, well, we're like your arms or legs. Did everyone else find one too? The golem seat of consciousness, so to speak, ain't in the head. The fact of the matter is, it's not anywhere in the body. How, how the fuck, like, we just got the key to open Kay's neck, and instead of that being the next beat, or go and fucking vote and someone dies, a robot sits up on a fucking table, and starts talking, and, like, what if we had chose a different route? A computer computes, a calculator calculates, and an automobile mobiles. Everything's designed to do something, and once you know what... You can start guessing how. Okay, does anyone like this character unironically? Because, like, she is just the the biggest trash fire as far as I'm concerned. Like, like honestly, like, I, I'm stunned at how bad this character is. Because it seems like this is supposed to be, like, the June anchor of the game. And she is just so terrible. I love her, like, ironically, because she is such a trash fire. Like, like she's awful. And she doesn't know that she's awful. And that's very entertaining. But, like, oh, she, God, she's annoying. Whatever. Might as well tell you. I don't really have any reason to hide my identity now that my mission's a success. Okay, you're Neil Armstrong. Besides, she'll probably tell you if I don't. Might as well hear it straight from the horse's mouth. Dio shifted to put his hands behind his head, but didn't bother to get up. Actually, I'm Santa. I belong to an organization called the Myrmidons. Why are we saying this? You've probably never heard of it, but there might be a few people out there who've heard of Free the Soul. If you haven't, well, it's a sacred religious order with over a million true blue. Oh my fucking god. First, you have to- Oh, I don't care! I don't care! I literally do not give a shit. First, you have to be raised with the teachings of Free the Soul from birth. Then, you have to be chosen to join the ranks of the elite and achieve great things. Returning from this mission would secure my position. Alright. Free the Soul is built around the teachings of a man named Brother, who founded our, our order many years ago. Okay, so it's Snake. Brother was born into a poor family. I've been told he didn't know his father and that he lost his mother at a young age. And the only family he had left was younger brother, a boy named Left. What? They say Brother had a special power and that he was able to touch the thoughts of other people and see into them. It left him constantly exposed to the filthy greed of mankind. When Brother was 16, Left was found dead. Well, it didn't really do much good. His power then did it. Once Free the Soul was established, he devoted his resources to research on human cloning. Oh my god! What the fuck? So he could create the new species he foretold! He abducted! I mean, he invited to assist him a team of scientists for a research facility in the United States, and a year later, the first ten new humans were born. Those ten were the first generation of Myrmidons, and I'm one of them. Incidentally, I'm from the fourth generation. Okay, of course you are. Our DNA comes from the left, bro from left brother's younger brother. But it turns out that there was another one, another brother or sister named Wright. Oh no, watch out for it. The secret sibling who it's left versus right and now it turns out the left isn't dead after all and they're fighting over brother's fucking legacy oh no who are you gonna turn to left or right my right or yours that means we're all share face and that we are given the same the same name left and in the middle of the of that field of stars shone the full moon a giant red orb looming in the center of the sky had it always been so big wait or is it not the moon it's a giant shot put ball. That is definitely the moon, though. That's like the face in the moon. You can see it right there. It's definitely the moon. Wait. Clover nodded and began to talk. I listened with rapt attention at a complete loss for words. Here is what she said. Alice and I are agents of the 
sois. Save our... The I is a J. Save our jumpy souls, which is under the jurisdiction of the Department of... Okay, here we go. I told you I played the Nonary games twice before, right? Well, this was after the second time, so about a year ago, we just escaped and we were all stuffed into this SUV barreling across the desert. Okay, I was driving, and that's when I saw her. What the fuck, Alice? She was standing next to the road with her thumb out, but it turns out she's just another woman named Alice. She was already working for the- What do you mean she was already working for the- She'd be far away to the building while I'm in this part of this game, and this is her getup? What do you mean? But on the way there, she the car had broken down. What? We offered to give her a ride, of course. After she got in, we started talking. It turned out that Alice had gotten a tip that the terrorist was as she was after the building being trapped. Is, is it just a coincidence? It's that's just how she dresses, and it just so happens her name is Alice. After several months of hard work, we were finally ready for our first field missions. Mine was an infiltration. My brother stayed at the base so I could relay, relay information back through him. I was supposed to sneak into a research facility, posing as one of their workers, and then use the morphogenic field to transmit what I found back to my brother. Wait, what do you mean? So, you're just... You're just... They're just using you as radios? Just... This this could be an email. What what the fuck do you mean? Just go in and then there's a... Whoa, now we can... Long distance communication. Whoa, we finally have the technology. And then Larry holds up his hand and is like... Um... What about self... Shut up, Larry. I, but... <laughs> Everything went wrong. It was a trap. Oh no, the whole research facility was a fake and I got captured in this. <laughs> what do you mean it was a fake? They set up a whole research facility just to capture one of your fucking Esper. I, I can talk to people long distance without a cell phone, people. That was it? Like that? What do you mean? What kind of fucking playground escalation horseshit is this? Okay, who told you to tell me this? No, who are you? Show me. Show me who you really are. I grabbed a hold of Kay's mask and tore it off. So obviously, uh, like, who the fuck is this? I mean, the only person it could possibly be is is Sigma, right? Like, I've had four days to think about it, and I also just immediately thought of it at the time. But I wanted to say, who the fuck is that? Like, it's it's gotta be it's gotta be Sigma, right? It's gotta be. It was terrible. It's it's my face. All right, there we go. Confirmed. All right. Sigma. What's wrong with your hand? Oh, oh, uh, ooh, There's huh? something white on it. Okay, not sure if plot or another horny bit. There's what? What? What the hell? <laughs> but when I woke up in the infirmary, suddenly all that fear was back. And I knew I just had to vote betray. I needed to kill someone. That's the kind of person I am. So I... All I could think about was getting out of this place as fast as I could. It never even crossed my mind that it could kill you. 
God help me, even if it had, I don't think I would have cared. Whoa. See? I'm horrible. I agree, yep. You hate me, don't you? I do, yep. Just do it. Do what? <laughs> what, do what? Kill me! Get it over with! What the hell, Alice? I'm not going to kill you. I don't even hate you. Eh. My father is Egyptian, but my mother is French. They met while my mother was in Egypt on vacation and married shortly thereafter. When I was there, when I was three, sorry, we all moved to, to the US. Okay, this explains a lot. My father was a... S <laughs> my father was... I have chosen two things of great importance to tell you. All right, tell us in order. One. First. Yep. I will tell you about termites. <laughs> Did you know that termites can digest five times their body weight in a day? <laughs> termites, they're such fascinating creatures. She pulled something out, pulled something from one of the old woman's sleeves and held it out toward me. A really? Really a card. Looks like an ID card for this place. Oh my god. Since it's got her picture on it, I'd say it's a safe bet the card is hers. Oh my god. Uh, looks like her name is Kurashiki. Kurashiki? Ever heard it before? No. No. Yeah. no. Anything on the back? And then Temyoji's like frothing at the mouth. Oh, oh my god. Really? Luna? God damn, that might have been my last choice if I had to pick who's a robot. And she's there saying, talking to us about how, oh, are you a robot? It turns out she was the robot all along. Classic robot deception. Alright, I'm still in, but you know. Yeah. Luna, oh yeah. Why is there a picture of Luna in this file? There's something written underneath it. It says, appearance after application of ABT. ABT, ABT. That's the fake skin, right? It is this special artificial biological tissue, what's called ABT. <laughs> Remember when he just never came back? Like, he's just, for one scene, there was a talking fucking robot and then he died and just never came back could you imagine like 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 touching someone like you have you have like your fingers on their neck and they're alive and everything but they don't have a pulse right they feel warm and they feel fine they feel normal but they don't have a pulse that would be so hot it's so weird like why was quark's bracelet off i took it off how aluminum foil Oh my fucking god. I swear to god, I might drop the game right now. I might drop the game right now. I, I honestly straight up might drop the game right now. I honestly straight up might just- I- Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Wait, so you're telling me that- Tell me the aluminum foil can block the electromagnetic waves your heart sends out? Yes. All you have to do is wrap it around your bracelet. And the bracelet thinks your heart has stopped? Yes. Holy shit. It was that easy all along. Also, you can just put a thin sheet of metal under the thing to block the injector needles. Lamayo. Anyway, I used some aluminum foil to get Quark's bracelet off. Then I put it next to the pot. I'm upset. I'm upset. I'm upset. Oh, I'm upset. So, who is he? You've never seen him before? No. What about the rest of you? I have no idea who he is. I've never seen him before. Me either. Total stranger. Hey, come on, what are you guys saying? Right here? Same face? Oh. <sighs> huh? 
Huh? Are you all right, Mr. Sigma? Did you hit your head or something? It didn't make any sense. Why didn't they recognize me? Sigma, your consciousness can jump through time. You can inhabit your body in the past or in the future. What does that mean? Don't you get it? You've jumped to the future from 45 years ago. I looked around frantically. A pond. I ran to it and threw myself down on my onto my knees. Oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> Crawling on all fours, I approached the edge. My heart was hammering inside my chest. A cold sweat trickled down my spine. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down, damn it. I struggled to take deep breaths, and slowly, slowly, I peered into the pond, looking for looking for my reflection. <laughs> woman's life was in danger. What? You risked yourself for her sake. I lost your arms and your right eye. Oh, there we go. All right. My arms and my right eye. Another moon? Think about it. If that's the moon's shadow, then what's it falling on? A copy of the moon. That's Earth. What? But it really looks like it has the, the, the face of the moon on it, right? That's the the most famous fucking thing about the moon is that it has that kind of face in it. That's a ch that's cheap. That is cheap. No way. If that's the Earth, then where the hell are we? The moon, of course. This is the lunar surface. All right. We were just inside a moon base. No way. That's bullshit. Uh, no, no way. You've got to be lying. How do you expect us to believe that? that? You've been walking around like normal. You didn't feel different as soon as you came up here? Like... That, that was- Oh, Wuggy! Wuggy! I swear to God, Wuggy! W fucking, you were right! God damn it! This is so dumb! Does Radical 6 also make you fucking six times heavier? Like... Radical 6 can slow down your brain's processing speed by the root of 1-6. <laughs> Yeah, and that's why we're all fucking stupid. That doesn't make sense, though. I mean, we came from the same time period before it actually... Just <laughs> imagine the people in, like, the, the the moon station over on the side here that are monitoring this, because obviously there there's... A, the, who built the bay? Like, there had to be, like, people involved in this, you know? Listening to these communications right now, and they're just like, Oh my god, <laughs> this, is, this is so hard to follow and take seriously. <laughs> they're just talking so slow. <laughs> These are the saviors of, of mankind. <laughs> and you just hear them go, I mean, we came from that same time period. Oh, God, I hope they're going to morph back. Oh, my God, this is our, these people are our only hope. How is this one of the most interesting structures of a video game I've ever seen and uses the medium so well? And yet, it is just the stupidest fucking game when it comes to characters. Is that what... Japanese games do well is that they're they're good at concepts and overarching kind of things, but when it comes to fucking characters, they just completely shit the bed. Just my god. 
Anyway, Virtue's Last Reward, really, really high highs, really, really low lows. Um, it's the Elden Ring of escape room visual novels. Um, 6 out of 10. ZD, ZTD will break you? I don't think it will. I don't think it will. My, I, I'm going into ZT, C, ZTD with my expectations set at the exact right level, level for bullshit. I'm not expecting anything from ZTT but a crazy wacky time. And in fact, if it's not wacky, I'll be disappointed. Like, I'm expecting pure unadulterated bullshit from ZTD. And then, like, the crazier the better. I, it doesn't even make sense. I don't give a fuck. Like, after 999, I thought this might make sense and, and explain some things, but nah, nah, it's. Phasers are set for bullshit. Don't worry. Here we go. Co inside. Nevada Desert Decom. Hey, open up. Okay, here we go. It's Who New would Year's. Do this? Shit. What's wrong with you? Someone's one night mistake. A mistake? <laughs> Maybe Diana's. What? This isn't the time for jokes. Let me guess. That helmet can't come off, can it? So creepy. I don't want it near me. Where the hell did this thing come from? You can set up so much suspense and mysteries if you change your fucking art style every single game so you don't know who the fuck is who. Life is simply unfair. Don't you think? Oh, for there fuck's sake. <laughs> make go extinct. <laughs> what the hell are you going on about? Shit, what did what did the guy I hate choose? He wanted red, right? So we're going blue? Oh, okay, that's what we're going. Alright. Your choice is made. Alright. Oh, green eyes. Like decoy. Yeah! It's always what you choose, isn't it? Who is this kid? Oh, the boobs are talking. Okay, I like this girl so far. Oh, man. Holy sh... Oh, oh man. Sorry for perving. <clears throat> I perv on the guys, too, so it's all right. That's how it works, right? Okay, what's with the piano? <laughs> Wait, hold on! Did, did, did we get the coin flip right? So GG, it's so question matt mercer i have a lot of questions um you know but you know what it kept it brief finally a japanese game uh, a weave game that knew how to be paced well good good pacing really brief really succinct got to the point realized what it was all about and just got in and out you know 10 out of 10 a, a little of a lot for everybody i'd like to tell you an old story is it about a snail 17 years ago on a rainy morning a woman went jogging in a large park and she tried to her swerve to save a snail her to a fork in the road uh oh normally she'd run down the right path but for some reason this day she chose the left along the way she bumped into a senior citizen she saw every day surprised to see her i asked why did you come this way today this was her reply because there was a snail. <laughs> Her body was discovered a few hours later. Because <laughs> 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 of the snail? This is a, this is a snail killer? What do you mean? 
damn it. Hey, Akane, uh, why don't you try using the morphogenetic field? <laughs> menu here we go what did you throw oh cheese cheese oh it's more Picking cheese the coaster okay it was over there on the counter why don't we just toss in some ketchup and pickles too <laughs> Holy maybe next time he comes back he'll be a hot dog <laughs> ah! oh, oh it was a joke oh. <laughs> <laughs> just like c is the best team by a landslide and Q is the worst by landslide. D D's pretty fucking mid, which is weird considering it has the, t the two from the previous game. L Q is I don't even know why Q is here. Th th this is this is amazing. This dynamic is amazing. All right, so like where where are we go? Oh no, my fucking god! Oh shit! Oh shit! Fuck! <sighs> <laughs> what? What do you mean? It's a little late. Were you finishing a TV show or something? What do you mean? A little late. It's so human. Like, what the, what the fuck? New DNA analysis results prove. Darn. The true culprit remains at large. Their identity is still unknown. Life's simply unfair. Life is simply unfair. <laughs> these, are, these are just stories for him to say that. Like, that's all this is. He, he just goes on the internet and just, just Googles tragic stories so he can just say his fucking catchphrase. <laughs> Uh, more of these pointless stories. I agree with Grumpy. Because of a snail. to understand emotions my whole life. Oh, better Anger, and better. I mean, more sadness, sus and sus. Pain, and... fear, and things like love. So when Eric said he liked me as much as he did, I didn't know why. I don't even really understand what he said before he died. Are you going to carve out his heart? Yeah? You are just gonna do it, huh? We're just we're just heart carving after the heart carving story. We're just we're just Whoa. we're just going to town. What are you doing? You're the heart collector. I'm going to touch Eric's heart. Okay, all right, all right. Wow, how 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 fucking the speed run time savings I just did on that fucking deduction up there. So glad I stopped the stream to do that shit. You know. Oh wow, that's a that's a that's a cool hint. I wonder what that's gonna mean later. Oh no. Oh, she's carving out a heart. Oh okay. All right. Never mind. Sorry. My bad. My B. I <laughs> uh, 
So what I need to do is remove that person. Wait, what? Even if it ends up being me. <laughs> Who killed Jumpy? Zero. You do not know identity. Why does that matter? Z zero two. Air. The dog. How would a dog do? <laughs> If you want to transport live koi from Brazil to Japan, putting only koi fish in an aquarium will result in most of them dying. But by adding something to that same container, you won't lose a single one. Is it water? What is it? A piranha. A piranha? But how does that even work? I guess their self-preservation instincts kick in. I get it. The fish become so afraid of the piranha that they make an effort to live. That nervous state becomes the power to keep them alive. Uh-huh. In order to survive, you need that sense of urgency. I see. What the fuck is this? So, for an actual Mars mission... We were talking about fish and a fucking old man in a chair and fucking, like, piranha and Mar... What the fuck is this? What the fuck? Oh, good idea to have a murderer on the crew, huh? <laughs> this is great. This is so good. Oh, kidding. <laughs> he knows. He knew all along. Eric, don't say scary things like that. He literally oh. knows. Ooh. Memento? Isn't that that this thing on the back that matches the one that Fi has? I don't know why you would have one too. And oh fuck off. No. No, 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 no fucking way. They both have the same fucking moments until they both have red hair and she dyes her hair and it's not orange. They have the same, I just looked at the eye, they have the same eyebrow. There's no fucking way. You might not have changed at all. <laughs> it's just me seeing things I missed before. Let me tell you something, <laughs> Junpei. <laughs> Say what you need to, while there's time to say it. <laughs> With the American flag in the background! <laughs> Amazing! Uh, Carlos! <laughs> the hell? You make it sound like I'm some brat. Sad man in the background, symbolism, aw oh man, move over Breaking Bad, we're playing Zero Time Dilemma. The, uh, the amount of framing and careful placement of shit in this scene is unprecedented. What they eventually uncovered was the fact that the device was not made by man. What? Perhaps it came from a distant planet or some alternate world. Alright, here we go. Oh man, it's gonna be. Oh man, what's gonna happen? Fuck it. Oh, you thought you were smart going to the moon and making your silly moon research space sigma? I have fucking like space aged alien technology transporter, possibly time travel because it's zero time travel. It's like zero time to limit bullshit. Ha ha ha. Oh yeah, fuck you. You you thought you were good. You did all this fucking shit on the moon to more back here to see if you can defeat me. Ha ha. Alien tech. Fuck you. <laughs> travels through space-time. It does not just go to the past or present, but also to other histories. Oh, great. Now, my instructions. <laughs> this, is just, this room is just like... This has made anything possible. Fuck this room. This room just destroyed everything about the whole fucking series. This room is just like, just literally anything can happen now. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> literally anything can happen now. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> so, live in the moment. So you have
have no regrets. That's not the right interpretation? Well, if you take it at face value... If you're a normie... I guess that makes sense if I was a normal human being. <laughs> My god, plus two. What the fuck is this shit? What are you talking about? The bullets shouldn't hit you if there are two bodies in front of you. But if you do that, then you'll... It's okay. Listen, Carlos and I will protect you and... Die. die. The fuck? <laughs> Don't worry. It... First initial is D. And then to connect that D to a Greek letter. Delta? <laughs> I like it. Delta grind set, alright. What about the girl? Well, oddly enough, I was considering a Greek letter too. Oh, of course you were. I want to use the one that means the most to me. Uh huh. <gasps> is it? Phi. I'd like to name our daughter after her. Bye. I think it's perfect. All right, so I was wrong. It's a wonderful name. It was even dumber. What if I put in zero? Don't know I do not know I that. Oh, is it really? Sorry. What? <gasps> what? Sean, you... Out of all your choices, you kill him? What? A damn dumb... Fuska. Fuska. Oh, uh. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> this is yet another destiny. Is there Is there just another fucking person like on that team that they've just like just not been showing the whole fucking game that that was in the fucking like that was in the the fucking decom thing that is that what the fourth person falling down on that thing is and that's what that weird fucking shadow was in that scene over here like there's there's no fucking way <laughs> okay that's not how i'm supposed to figure that out right Wait, so is there, is there going to be a scene coming up where <laughs> They're gonna be like, well, what about him? And then the camera's gonna go woof to this guy, and everyone's gonna be, and I'm gonna. <laughs> and you're supposed to be like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> what Eric, could you please put down the gun for a second? Huh. 
He's different from how he was in the other history. Oh, okay, here we go. There was something off about him. <laughs> something off? He attacked you? He was all red? He slammed you against the wall? He was like a Dragon Ball Z character. There was something off about him. <laughs> this is something off. There's no way I'd ever go. Oh, but you will. No, you will most definitely come. Sorry about the wait. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I love him. I love him so much. Then you went back in time 10 months by activating the unused transporter? <laughs> so you guys would be able to transport to this history. I needed 10 months to charge the device again after I used it. And then you just waited <laughs> for a long time. Yep. That's right. <laughs> you didn't think of stopping Zero's plan? If I did that. That's not what I promised. Then I couldn't have met you guys, right? <laughs> and that's, and the memories we shared are super important. Like, I think I'm gonna give that up. Like, <laughs> oh damn it, he's right. <laughs> that was one hell of a thing you did. <laughs> We're just letting that huh? go. <laughs> Do you know what happened because of you? The real zero is. <laughs> you, Delta. <laughs> What? Delta? Delta? I've heard that name before. Yeah. Me too. Oh, yeah. You guys wouldn't know. Because you transported into this history. Oh, would you stop yapping, Sean? This old man's name is Q. That's right. That's what he was called at DCOM. Yeah. yeah, I called him that. Because I was told and to. And Mira, she always called this man Q, too. Then... Is he is he still wearing the gas mask? Because that would just be fucking hilarious. The no way, that's the villain. Okay, this is unbelievably fucking stupid. It's gonna be way too obvious that's him. What are we gonna do? I know. Let's just let's just. I thought maybe it was gonna be some sort of like mind altering thing that. Like, I was honestly starting to think that maybe he was the dog. And that whenever the dog was there, it was just they were just seeing a dog. But instead of being a dog, it was him somehow. Like, but no, it's just like, it's just they just never showed it. Like, what? So, who? What the fuck? So, in, in, in Q Team, there was a robot boy that is that was put in there by, by, by Zero. <laughs> Zero himself. And Mira, who is like the serial killer that's there just to fuck with everyone and, and help Zero, you know, inadvertently. And Aaron. <laughs> what is the power level of Eric that he needed to be contained by Zero and his two accomplices? <laughs> what is what is the potential of Eric? 
Holy shit. Is there anyone in the history of all of fiction that has been done more dirty than Eric? <laughs> he totally deserves it too. What a trash fire character. Holy shit. It's ready. What the Just fuck? Just wait a sec. I'll open the X. Honestly, no, I I no, don't blame him. I, my my hand just. I Wait. have no more use for this history. Wait, what? There's only one thing left to do. No. Wait. Don't. He's psychic too. What? <laughs> You fucking Jedi? We're just going full supernatural now, are we? Like it's been science fiction before now. Now we're going full supernatural. Okay, whatever. Whatever. All right. This was the moment. No, I just knew that th there has to be one history where this happens, and I just happened to morph to the one where that happens. This is what this, you know, it's a possibility, and there are, it, it's infinite possibilities. It has to happen. This has to happen an infinite amount of time. Oh. All right, Diana. Hi, mom. Mom. <laughs> I. Have another power instead. Bullshit. The power to mind hack. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Mind hack? Whatever. <laughs> Who else can do it? It only lasts a moment, but I am able to control someone's body as I wish. Okay. Lie. This. Have we been zero all along? Uh, Lamayo got him? He blinked! He's pretending! I saw a blink! And then, from the TV, the recording comes on. As I said, my motives are very complex. <laughs> Shall I go on? <laughs> Wait, wh Eric, why? <laughs> no, for real, I... My finger just... Mind hacking. Mind... <laughs> Understand. <laughs> Shows up, says he's a mind hacker, uses the power to make someone shoot him in the chest. Lays there bleeding and dying, says, understand my power now, refuses to elaborate, dies. <laughs> now, this is my power. My god, you're so strong. So, let's begin your final decision game. Um... Yeah, so yeah, this was this was interesting. Again, thank you for making me play it. Um and to be clear, you you made me play it. <laughs> no, thank you for making me play it cuz I wouldn't have otherwise. I enjoyed this. This was a good experience all three games. Um Yeah, I don't know. I I'm I'm torn between liking 1 and 1 and 3 the most. Uh, I feel like I have a more objective slant for thinking that the first game is 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 the best one, and a more subjective slant for the third game being the best one because um, VLR really tempered my expectations going into this that I wanted crazy wacky bullshit, so I wasn't really pissed off with it when it came when it came around. So I don't think it's really fair to compare that when um, uh, this game had the huge advantage compared to uh, 999, right? I think um, yeah, VLR is definitely the worst one though because of the ending and. Uh, the big thing about the ending for VLR was that, okay, so VLR and Z ZTD end very similarly in that they just completely go off the fucking rails toward the end, but at least ZTD was entertaining about it. <laughs>